know guys we're Got a service call. This is where I was working on that V8N. Got a cat excavator that's blowing a hose and the way it makes it sound, man, it sounds like it's over there by the rotary distribution manifold somewhere. So it's clear up there at the very top. Well, not at the very top, I guess halfway up the mountain, but at the top, pretty much where the road starts curling around going towards that north field that's on the side of the mountain there. So, uh, we're going to run up there and, uh, usually those guys will pull things off, but he said there was, he looked like it was a real pain in the butt to get the hose out, so he said, you come do it, and I said, alright, so, I'm not sure what model number it is, I, I I haven't worked on this one before. I've drove by it and never really paid much attention to what the model number is. I know it's a cat excavator. It's a, it's, I don't know, kind of a mid-sized one. This guy here, he, uh, he owns a, well, he manages a bunch of grape vineyards down south, down towards like the Central Valley. Petaluma, California, places like that. He manages grape vineyards for absentee owners. So, in other words, all these rich farmers that own these grape vineyards and aren't there are rich. So, you know, a lot of these Hollywood celebrities will own grape vineyards. And, uh, they'll own all these grape vineyards and they'll have somebody else basically do all the work. And that's what he does. I think he does pretty well for himself, which is good. Hey, more power to him. But uh, I think I see it up there. Of course, I got Duke and, and uh, little Josie Wells here. Josie's sleeping on her dog bed. Yeah, and there's a pretty nice cinder pit back up in here, too. I don't know if the camera can pick it up. But a cinder pit way back up in there. I used to go up in there when I was a kid on my dirt bike and raise hell and get in trouble. I don't know if the county owns that now or what. That used to be a private pit. A lot of these guys that had these private pits everywhere, they sold them off to the county or something. Anyways, well, I'll, I'll be with you here in a minute when we get to this excavator and get this hose out of here. A big hole pit right there. Huh. There's a cat sitting over there. I've never been up here on this side of this ranch here. It was way back in here. Neat though, we're at the top of the pretty much the top of this place here. That hard to beat that view, man. I'll have to get out and show you that. We'll let the pups out and let them go run around. Must have been doing something up there. Yeah, it goes back in there too. Let's back up to it. I want to make sure that your brake's set up real good here. Let me let the pups out. Let them go run around. Damn, Dave. You guys are sliding. That's your dog bed sliding off the deal. Hold on a second, Duke. 
All right, sissy girl, get out. Let me get Duke out of there. It's too high for him to be. Come on, Bubba. Oh, I know. See, that's better. A lot of easier on your joints. That is pretty cool, isn't it? See the whole valley from here. All right, let's climb up in here and see what we got. Yeah, he's a leaker somewhere. What is this thing anyway? Model number's going off that side. Oh, it's got to be like a the 320C. It's an older older uh, excavator. Still a good excavator. Pretty good sized one. Okay, what do we got here? He said he was gonna mark it. Yeah, it's going right to the rotary rotary distribution manifold. Or not uh, the swing motor actually that's your rotary distribution manifold that is your swing motor okay so where's this one going back in here so we're gonna have to probably zip a couple of them off let me get some plug kit in here and uh what is that probably 916 like they always are five eights we'll climb in here and get her off of there Trying to figure out a place to put you here. I don't really know where you go. There's another hose in the way or something of obstructing the view. <coughs> well, that extension's not gonna work out very well. Holy shit. so hard I farted. Oh, man. Man. Should have grabbed a half inch drive ratchet, huh? This would be a high pressure four wire hose. impact and a long extension I think I can get that other one off without pulling anything off I really do I got my plug kit up here hmm where to go where do I go I'm, I'm gonna have to either get an in wrench or a short socket Kind of would appear that way. Yeah. Well, let me go get a... Let's get an end wrench for that one. Then I'm going to get my impact and the long extension to get the bottom one loose. Okay, I got that one off. I got a plug in it. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I might have to run to town to get this one. I'm not going to have, I don't think I'm going to have that long, that really long uh, elbow. I don't know. I do have a bunch of those in my inventory. I don't know if I got one that long. Some of these cat, some of these cat ones, you're better off to go get the serial number. And just take it up there and they'll make it do exactly, exactly like it come off. My plug don't quite fit right, so I have to... Okay, 
Let's see what we got here, huh? Might have to take this other one off. If I can get back in there, I don't know. Take one off, don't take it off. You don't have to. Oh, don't do that, you son of a bitch. Is the bolt, oh, luckily the bolt is still in the end of the but the washer fell off, so that's okay. I'll get another washer. That's not too big of an ordeal. Okay. Now the ones on the bottom are not going to be too much fun to get to. Might be better if I just go one extension on there. sure I can get it out of there and not lose it. Well, it's not working out. Ah. Well, I got on that one. Luckily. Okay. Yeah, taking it off is always the easy part. <laughs> Going back together though can be a different situation. <sighs> there it is, and yeah, it definitely blew. <sighs> well, let's see if I can get a plug, uh, one of my plugs in here. I don't know if I can even reach the dirty bastard. Frickin' hat bill keeps getting in my way. I don't know if I can get my hand in there. I might have to lock me on my belly or something. I'd like to get a plug and keep shit out of there if I can. We got a plug in the hole, okay. Let me get my impact wrench out of here now. We'll go make a hose with the 
I don't have it, I'm gonna have to go get one made. Yeah. No good. I don't know if the camera can pick up that train moving across the valley way over there. Probably doesn't zoom in enough. But that's a pretty cool view from up here. Oh, it's beautiful. Sure makes you glad that you're in the place that you're in, that you're not down there in one of them big city shitholes. Well, we went, had to go to Klamath Falls, uh, about 32 miles, 35 miles, something like that, to get a hose made. I couldn't, I didn't have any Code 62 cat flanges, number 12s. because the tag was on the on the hose you know cat made some of those code 62 uh, cat flanges that were thicker of course nobody had them so uh, hopefully this is gonna work what I've got rigged up here uh, what I ended up doing it had a long 90 on that one end, and nobody had the long 90. So we had to use a JIC adapter, cat flange adapter, to make the 90 to where it was going to turn out right. It'll probably make more sense when I show it to you. Sure, it's a pretty place back in here.
I'll be there in a minute. Okay, so here's what we had to do on this. Try not to step on wires and stuff. I gotta take this off. Inside flange off, it's holding. We can't use these now because we're not using this style of Okay, see the difference between these and these? These don't have near as thick a flange as the cat one did, which is not going to hurt nothing. Not going to hurt a thing. Basically, like this adapter right here. And this is going to go right here. That's not going to work very well, is it? I told that guy, I don't think them bolts are going to work in there. I think they're too long. Oh no, those bolts will work fine! And here we are with the bolts are too damn long. That's exactly what I thought. They're not going to tighten up, no. Nope, 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 nope. I told that guy, nah, them bolts are not going to work. No, oh, those bolts will work. Well, that flange is thicker there. How's that going to work? I'm not really seeing how that's going to work when that flange is thicker. All right, let me see what I can do here. I called the manager and I said, well, I'm kind of going to have to either shim all these these bolts out with a bunch of washers and it's gonna look stupid or I can just take my die grinder and just cut the bolts off so they're the right length and he said well that doesn't matter as long as it works so... so that's what we did now this should tighten up Hopefully I cut enough off of them. Yeah, okay. Let me loosen this up a little bit. Enough to get the hose worked in there. The fitting, I should say. Like so. Should work out just fine. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, man. I had a kid call me. I guess I inspired him to go out on his own. He said, man, I'm struggling. And I said, I talked to him for a while, really nice kid from Kentucky. And then he told me what he was charging, and I said, well, that's why you're struggling. He was charging 60 bucks an hour, and I'm not trying to make fun of him at all. Don't, you know, hey, I started out at 70. And it took, I started out at 70, and I realized pretty quick that ain't gonna work, man. It's too damn cheap. Especially right now with the price of the fuel and everything else that's happening. Fuck, you just can't, you can't do it for 60. There's no way. No way you can do it. And being a service truck, there's just no way in hell. I mean, yeah, you're here. Your business will suffer 
I can tell you about 60 bucks an hour. If you're doing a good job, I told him, I said, you know, if you're doing a good job, and he's having trouble with people paying him, and, and I told him, I says, you, right now with the environment that we're in right now, you better make sure you get your money from these sons of bitches. And I said, you sound like a really nice guy. You're like me when I started out. I was, I was too easy going with them. You got to be a dickhead to them. You really do. I hate to say this. Yeah, I hate to say that, but you, you kind of have to. Damn, I can't get, I can't get my damn. I should have brought a chrome socket up here, huh? I don't even know if I could, I don't even know if I could get a chrome socket on that. No, you got to get your money out of these people right now. But they're, you know, they're using him as a bank is what they're doing. And I told him, I said, you got to be right up front with him and say, listen, hey, you know, somebody better be there, especially on a big job. You better get at least half down. I mean, I've got some customers that I've known most of my whole life and I'm not worried about them. But some of these newer guys that I've never dealt with, yeah, I make sure that... I make sure there's some money changing hands before I even go out there. I'm not going to go out there and then wait 90 days and have to make, you know, 30 phone calls to their secretary and no more of that shit. It still happens to me every once in a while. I get took in a little bit, you know. The bad thing I was trying to explain to that kid there, I told him, I said, you know... You're not only losing once, you're actually losing twice. He says, what do you mean? I says, well, you could have been working on somebody's shit that pays you. So not only were you not getting that money coming in, now you're losing, <laughs> you know, you've lost twice. And then you're, then you're spending all your time chasing your money. You know, you son of a bitch, if, if I did the job and it's working, then how come you're not paying me? You know? I shouldn't have to call you ten times and call every secretary and, and then hear the song and dance and why you didn't pay me. And Well, we haven't been paid by somebody else. Well, then don't call me. If you, if you don't have any money, don't fucking call me. I'm not your bank. You know? You don't think my family wants to eat too? <laughs> There's definitely more room on that other on that other that other fitting had more room on it. But it's all we could get. I mean couldn't believe cat didn't have the fittings to do the to hose I just couldn't hardly believe that there's a bunch of these excavators around So good and tight right there. And that other one ain't gonna be so much fun back in the hole there. Gotta get my plug out of there. Man, how am I gonna get my plug out of there? Might have to take this coat off. Kinda got cold on us here. It's like we're in our never ending our never-ending winter cycle right now. This is just, it just doesn't want to go away. Shit, I can't get it out of there. Uh, let me climb in here somehow. Let's see if I can get my hand in there. Uh, oh, I got company. 
Yeah, this one's not going to be near as much fun as the other one was. This one will be a lot funner. Where can the guy put the camera? I don't really know if there's much of a spot to put the camera. You're just going to have to hang out here, look at my back. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll put you up back in here somewhere. I don't know. I don't know really what to say. Maybe, maybe up here in the back of the cab. Yeah, maybe that'll work. Somewhere in there, I don't know. My idea here is to get one cat plan started in there. Ah. Well, this one here is a little different. It's it's gonna be vertical, huh? I'm gonna kick those bolts right off the cat here. See that happening right now. So I'm going to move them out of the way before I do that. You notice how you never can get the light where you need to, where you need it. it never is. Where you need it. <sighs> yeah, this ain't gonna be very easy. Once I get them started, I'll be all right with this. I got one started. All right. Yeah, it's gonna start snowing on me here, I think. Man, this one down here is a bastard. That one's so hard to get your hands on. And turn it to start it. Let me get a long extension, 3 8 drive extension, and a short socket. Even if I gotta stack some washers to kinda push on the head of the bolt to get it to start. Yeah, that one, that one down in there, there's just so many hoses in the way. I'll try a different angle. Maybe, maybe I'll put it down. There's no real good spot to put the camera. I mean, on these excavators, there's so many things that are in the way and obstructions. All I can do is just hope for the best, I guess. Maybe about where the light is, I'll just put it beside the light. I don't know. Somewhere in there. So I don't know if you're gonna be able to see anything. Get this extension. Damn, I might have got it. Damn, I think I did. That worked out pretty good. What I want to do is now I've got to get the hose started in one half of that. Now I gotta climb back down in here though. Some of these hoses can be a real joy. I see that O ring, a new O ring on that end, and a new O ring on the other end. Get out of there on 
behind me. Make sure my o-ring didn't come out. God, that sucks on a cap flange fitting and you're got it where you got hard difficult access and then you get in there and the damn o-ring falls out of the bastard. You know what I'm gonna do. Let's see here. Oh, it's just a little bit long. That's what yeah, it's a little long. That guy made it a little long. Son of a bitch. So what I'm going to do is get this end on there. In the halves. The guy kind of screwed it there a little bit. The guy that made that hose. So one thing nice about a cat partner, they're usually just right when you get them. When you go to put them in, they're, they're right. You don't have any trouble installing them. Oops, sorry about that. Then I'll have to just kind of keep the hose to get started on there. That's all I can do. Tighten it up. See if I'm talented enough to do this. See if I, how many times I can drop it down in there. Holy really shit, I did it. I did it. I think. Did it start? Yeah. Okay, let me see if I can get the other bolt started his pilot pumps leaking real bad back there too I just showed him that he pulled up here and showed him that pilot pump the actual pilot on the pilot pump is leaking which usually entails that the seal is leaking as well on the input side of the pilot pump I got all these in, I think. Yeah, okay. So now, all those are in. See if we can get this thing twisted and kinked around or where we can get it started on there. He just made it a touch too long. Might be up. Damn it. got it let me get a wrench what is that inch and like is that fucker cracked holy shit i think that fitting's cracked that brand new fitting's cracked holy shit that fucking fitting's cracked that brand new fitting is cracked right there look at that shit Holy shit. I went through all that trouble and they gave me a cracked fitting. You've got to be shitting me. Son of a bitch. Let's take it back off. Okay, it's where the whatever they bent it with just kind of left a dent in it right there it's not cracked on the inside I can clearly see the inside and it's not cracked on the inside but I don't like it very much I'll tell you that let me do all this all over again I think it's fine all right, we got her on there again I'm gonna tighten this end up here size it is it looks like inch and a quarter yeah it's number 12 it should be inch and a quarter Yeah, 
Yeah, I gotta get a proper wrench and give that a good snug. Now let's get these tightened up. We should be gaining on her then. We didn't have to take a bunch of other hoses off. It probably would have been a lot easier, but that's just more of a mess and more chances of dirt and shit getting in the system and contaminating the oil. So the less stuff you can pull off, the better off you are. Anyways, that, yeah, I just told that kid, you know, you gotta, you're driving up down the road in a truck, working on people's stuff, you, you should bare minimum 120, you know, and then mileage, you know, fuels, I don't know what fuel is in Kentucky, but here it's fucking $7 a gallon, you can't drive up and down goddamn road for 7 bucks a gallon for free, you know, Guys, they don't understand that. They under they, they they get pissed off when I go in there and I say, yeah, it's you know it's 140 bucks an hour plus two bucks a mile, and they whoa, what do you mean? You're getting paid 140 plus a mileage? I said, yeah, there's I I get 140 sitting in the shop, not going anywhere. That truck's got to pay for itself. I mean, why would I drive the truck? The truck is an added expense. The, the tires, the wear and tear, the fuel, the oil. I mean, I, some of these guys just don't fucking get it. It's just like if you were to rent this excavator out. This excava excavator would be on a job. And the guy, that, the guy that rents the excavator out, if he provides an operator on the excavator as well, he has to compensate for his wages and for the excavator, what it costs to run the excavator, and then make money off of it too, you know? The excavator has to pay for itself. You're not just, you know, I'm just trying to explain that to guys. They think they're getting ripped off. If you don't like the mileage fee, then... Put it on a low boy and haul it to the shop. A buddy of mine used to always tell me it's a hell of a lot funner staying at home playing with mama going broke than it is laying around working on your junk, rolling around in the grease and the snow and the mud. You know? It's a lot funner going broke at home. <clears throat> Let's just grab us an open-ended nut wreck and I'm sitting on a hillside and my damn my drawers don't want to really cooperate. They're heavy, these wrench drawers are. Hang on a minute, I need to get rid of this. Get a hold of this. Get a hold of that right there. Uh-huh. Get a hold of that there camera. Tight. Alright guys, so I'm gonna pull it off of here. Now let's pull the truck up a little bit here to so we can pick the boom up and swing it without wrecking the truck. Make 
sure we have it. No leaky. We probably pulled the key out of it, so I couldn't check it. And there's a key right there. Ah. Oh, battery disconnect. Damn it. Okay, so... I'll go rotate this way and... Brakes working. Make sure we got no leaks. or anything on that. I don't know. All right, well, make sure I got my tools off there. I guess I ought to do that. I've been known to leave shit laying around and then get to going somewhere later on go, oh, where the hell that's at. Okay. Well, guys, starting to rain and kind of half ass snow on me. I think I'm going to get the heck out of here. So I'll talk to you later.